Did you know that in 2003, federal agents opened a briefcase in Georgia and found enough uranium to build a dirty bomb? Georgian physicist Oleg Kintsigov thought he was selling to Islamic terrorists, but they were undercover agents. Inside that lead-lined case sat one 100 grams of weapons-grade uranium-235, glowing with deadly potential. After the Soviet collapse, Kintsigov was desperate. His academic credentials gave him access to abandoned nuclear facilities. He exploited every security gap he could find in former Soviet storage sites. The smuggling network was sophisticated, using diplomatic pouches to move radioactive material across borders. Then airport radiation detectors started going off. Alerts everywhere. The terrifying truth emerged during interrogation. This wasn't the first shipment. For years, enough fissile material to create multiple nuclear devices had been circulating on the black market. Kintsugov's arrest revealed a nightmare scenario that kept intelligence agencies awake at night. How much weapons-grade uranium was still out there waiting for the highest bidder? The nuclear black market was real and thriving. 